gone for far too long But with all that we've been through After all this time I'm coming on to you Well, I mean, everything I possess, everything, uh, you know, I, I own, uh, most of the people that I've met or know or love in my life, I've, I've gotten through flat track racing. I, I met my wife at a flat track race. Um, I joked that I was conceived at a hill climb. So, I mean, it's, to me, flat track's not a job, it's a way of life, it's always been that way. I had a pretty good idea when I was a kid, but, you know, that the beautiful thing about coming through the ranks is that at every level that, you know, it, when you go from an 80 to a 125, you got to prove yourself again. When you go from a 125 to the 250, you got to prove yourself again that you're capable of making that step. And I had to make multiple steps throughout my career or throughout youth to just to turn pro. And then when you turn pro, you know, back then it was you were a novice, and then you were a junior, and then you were a rookie, and then you stacked yourself up against all the best guys from every year ever, and uh, you kept having to prove that you were worthy of making that next step and uh, I thought that's what I liked about it is that every time I took a step I had to prove myself and uh well my my biggest motivation for this year is to certainly win some races uh, if I have a shot at the championship great but I, I I get the opportunity to say that every year that I competed in AMA Grand National Racing that I was in the top 10 of anybody in the world we're not talking just the United States although that's where you know where we race exclusively but I can consider myself in the top 10 for 25 25th year and uh, that's going to be something that's hard pressed for anybody to match for a long time. Well, I suspect a lot's going to depend on, on how the bills get paid at home. You know, I mean, I've been able to put some money aside, but I'm, I'm, while I retire from racing flat track, that doesn't mean I can retire and not do anything. Um, I've always wanted to, to continue running my team, uh, have a young rider riding a, a motorcycles that, that Kenny Tolbert and I can provide for him. Um, I hope to make that happen um, by 2012. We'll see how it goes. I may have to wear three or four different hats in order to you know, take care of the, the more important things at that time, which is you know, wife, family, kids, mortgage, you name it. I still have those, those uh, responsibilities. And if I can, you know, stay involved in flat track and meet those responsibilities away from it, then uh, that's the goal is to, to stay involved. No, no, this is it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing everything I can. I, I, I don't want to do a sequel. I'm, I'm working as hard as I have in a very long time to put myself in this position. And as good as it would sound, I'm, I'm leaving everything I got on the racetrack this year. And I want to go out giving it the very best effort that I can. And then it's time for the next phase of my life. Mm -hmm. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with this being my last year. I'm not sad. I look forward to cherishing every moment it provides. For the rest of the year, and. Uh...